This series of short videos is based on Robert Cialdini's excellent book Influence the Psychology of Persuasion, first published in 1984 and as relevant today as it was then. In his book, Dr. Cialdini reviews six methods of influencing people's behaviour and I'd like to look briefly at how you can adapt these methods for creating and delivering persuasive presentations. At the end of this video, you'll have an opportunity to test the effectiveness of your presentations, so keep an eye open for that. The subject of this video is social proof, one of the six influencing methods identified by Dr. Caldini. Social proof means what others say about you. This can range from informal commentary to formal qualifications. For example, medicine, architecture and law are examples of professions regulated by law and requiring formal qualification in order to practice. Let's call that professional social proof, so to speak, often denoted by suffixes and prefixes surrounding practitioners' names. Social proof of this sort is generally well regulated and easily verified via registers or professional bodies. On the other hand, informal social proof comes from many sources – customers, colleagues, suppliers, neighbours, community groups, etc. Clearly, with this degree of scope, informal social proof can be much greater in volume. Despite its informality, it can carry great weight, as witnessed by the many sources of social proof available online. It's almost impossible to book a hotel room without finding out what the previous 50 guests thought of the hotel, the ambience, the car parking, the local shopping. So what? Well, the so what is that genuine named customer comments are massively influential. How many do you have in your presentation? Now, they can be text, audio or video, but the value lies in them being attributed, if at all possible, attributed to people whose opinion your audience would hold in high esteem. Now, by way of an example, here's one from a client of mine. Now, this is a great testimonial, as Sanjay identified business benefits and tied them to the work I did for him. It's really important. Here's a, another example that follows the same model. Now, when you're collecting testimonials from clients, if at all possible, get your clients to connect the work you did for them to some tangible benefit they experienced. And you can learn more about presentation effectiveness by watching my video dedicated to measuring the effectiveness of your sales presentation. That's on my YouTube channel as well. I hope this helps you influence more people and win more business. Thanks for watching.